Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh, man, you uh, sound happy. You sound happy, man. I know, I know. I have to bring the energy, <laughs> man, because it, uh, it was a little bit low energy. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for, for uh, coming by. For, thank you for stopping by uh, to another episode of uh, King's Cave 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Uh, I'm, oh. I'm going to welcome Isaiah first man, this time. Welcome how are you going to forget my name, man? <laughs> welcome, Isaiah. Come, Come on, on man. Guys, how are you? I'm happy, to, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to, lay, uh, to update you guys on the new topics that are going on in the States. And I, I was just telling them about, about the the Kendrick Drake beef they got oh no clue God. what I was talking about <laughs> who cares but yeah yeah who I, I'm cares just who are updating. those guys who are those guys they're toy collectors yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I have no idea I was <laughs> updating these th these old guys and they told me no let's talk about Power Rangers that's, <laughs> too, that's, 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 too, that's too new generation for me man. I don't even know who those guys are uh, welcome Carlos welcome oh, how you been man oh no just intrigued about the Drake and the, and yeah. the Kendrick <laughs> beef I don't know I, I, just, I, 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 I want to feel young I, I want to feel young again so tell me some more about it <laughs> i had a rush i'm like all right let's start let's start the podcast you know just kind of like stop talking about that and then you brought it up to the podcast <laughs> uh anyways um how's everybody doing i hope, every, hope everybody's doing great hope everybody's doing uh all right uh how's your collections doing how your collection doing brother oh man i'm poor yeah well, well that that means that your collection is doing good no i'm poor i'm if poor yeah <laughs> so dramatic you know with the big dollar yeah. pieces oh, oh oh yeah the one that's talking <laughs> look right next to me okay wait what what this is, this is an easy piece look even, i even have two mm -hmm. everybody knows everybody knows that ulysses is insane so you know no 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 actually actually um I just got this new uh, piece. Uh, Congrats, inbox. brother! I know, I know that's one of the crown jewels in your collection. I know it you've is. been looking for one of those for it a while. Is, so on the, on the box, on it's I already had this one loose, but you know, to have the one in the box is it's amazing. <laughs> and I just recently sold this one, so I'm not that insane. I'm not gonna keep it. I, I need to. I'm gonna start listening to to my friends. You know, you need to start like <laughs> moving things up. So, so yeah, I got a new one in the box. I'm, I'm I just sold the the loose one. So. Nice, nice. Yes. And what about you, Isa? Yes, how your collection do it? It's doing terrible. I'm at zero <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> what 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 is it in it? what is in it in it so far? Memories? Yeah, yeah, just my memories and I'm remembering like the dinosaurs I used to play with uh, and yeah, not much else. Yeah, the memories and and that's it. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been catching up on all movies. Something I I never watched because of because of the way my parents are it was harry potter i just finished it it was amazing mm. it's amazing harry so potter you know i've never seen yeah. harry potter oh really no. mm -mm. you're not young at heart man that's, that's for, for that's for all, all the young but I've seen lord of the rings that's, that's for all people i've seen it too oh. but <laughs> harry potter yeah, i was never yeah it, it's it's a it's a it's always a comparison i don't know if for those franchise franchises uh i mean i still like <laughs> say you gotta say it now <laughs> i still like the lord of the rings better it, it's good. Yeah, it's good. No, 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 I'm saying, but uh, I know there's a lot of uh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter fans. Oh, okay. Out there. Did you guys, did you guys saw the 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 new um, trailer that came out today or yesterday? For what? Of the of the spin-off series. For what? Uh, Harry Potter? No, of uh, Lord, Lord, Lord of, the of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, really? Rings of Power. Oh, the Rings of Power. No, no, no. I haven't oh, seen. I, I, I saw the I saw the first the season. Like I I saw the first uh, season. It was it was. I liked it. I liked it. A lot of people didn't, but it's always like that. The same thing with Star Wars. Mm. You know, a hardcore fan. Well, that's what I was going to I was going to say, say is that being that you finally seen all the Harry Potter, does it make you want to go find a wand or a stick outside and collect, start collecting Harry Potter stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He's going he's gonna to put in one of those robes <laughs> with nothing under, just the wand <laughs> and the glasses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people people don't see, but this, 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 thing I have, this thing I have on me, it goes all the way to the floor. Yeah, it's it's like a right side, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. going to draw a zigzag on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um, he he can fit a, a six yeah, yeah, for, yeah not yeah. forehead yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so that's what i'm saying does, does, does it give you a, a you know that being that you that you're around collections now you, you see a collection here all the time whenever you come in does that make you want to collect a harry potter figure or anything like that um no no but i i i do feel like i need recently of getting into a new hobby Mm. I, I I got that. Like I, I see you guys uh, talking about uh, about your hobbies and stuff, but then you have some conversations and and financial wise maybe that doesn't excite me that much. But I'm telling yeah. you, guys, you need to get into racing. 
Nah, 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 nah. Jeez, don't, don't go back to that episode. Stop it, stop it. No, um, no, no, but um, yeah, no, I mean, finding a, finding a hobby, I think, I think, just what keeps us uh, all moving. Okay, well, let me ask you this, both of you this. When you consider a hobby, does a hobby have to cost money? Me personally, I think sometimes it does because it's a hobby. It's not in a necessity. It's actually you know a luxury because it's a hobby. Mm-hmm. So what would you consider that? It's being that he's saying it's a financial thing. No, I th- I think a hobby it doesn't have ne- have to be necessarily like expensive. It can be, and there's a lot of expensive oh, yeah. hobbies. But like for example, if you go to to, to kind of like if you're gonna pick a sport as a hobby, and then if you pick, you know the 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 boogies that go off roading and all that, that's even more expensive. Than, yeah. Like that's super expensive. All right, you're choosing a, a really expensive hobby. It's a nice one, or or I don't know, or off road biking or something like yeah, that. Anything like that. That's yeah. expensive, right? So, but if you pick a, uh, like a hobby of you know, so you know, what would be a good hobby that's gonna I think, be? I well. think a good hobby that I liked a lot. If I weren't doing collecting, or I think I can I can touch back because I I do have a couple of uh, of games. It's uh it's a board games. Board games, board games is not expensive. There's a lot. Once you buy one, you can you can drag that. That that um that that a uh, board game for for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's there's another hobby that we just picked up my wife and I. Puzzles, man. Oh my lord. Puzzles. Oh man. Oh my lord. Like uh, how I spend. It is a good. It's a cool thing, you know, to do with the family because uh, I kind of wait uh, for mm-hmm. her if she's doing something and she kind of waits on me. Cool. So I'm just like, all right, so you ready? For me? Right, so, and then we said, I'm gonna do. 30 minutes of, uh, uh, we have 30 minutes. And then we are like, the little do we know, like three hours there. Oh, I was wow. like, it's big, you know. But it's like the the 3,000 pieces puzzles or like. We just like, did a 2,000, yeah. We haven't oh gotten to the 3,000 yet, but shoot, we, we just did a 2,000 piece. Well, and what do I do with you with them? Do you frame them up or do I do with them? I don't, th- I, don't I think I have a space. Like we just kind of like break them up. Like we, oh. before this 2,000, we did a, th- uh, a thousand. And we just picked it up. We, we've done only like two or three puzzles. <coughs> We try to do it with the kids. Honestly, it mm-hmm. kind of like started with that. Okay. But I think our little girls are like too. too <laughs> it's boring. They're, 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 they're doing yeah, it. Yeah, it's boring for them. And then they kind of like, they kind of join us at the mm-hmm. end of it. Just because they oh, want to yeah. put the last piece. Yeah, and then exactly. she's literally, like, I want to put the last piece. Like, and I'm How like, convenient. I can be your father. <laughs> I can be your dad. But I want to put the last piece. <laughs> yeah. right? so, so anything, uh, what about you? Say, so have you thought about a list of hobbies? That you're, uh, you say you say that you listen to us, but that doesn't mean you have to follow. You know, mm-hmm. what what do you think would be a good hobby for you to pick up? Yeah, recently I well, like two months ago, I went doing go karting. I loved it, but it's not cheap. No. So it's like fifty or seventy bucks per session, and it's not cheap. Then I tried recently last week. I tried going dancing with my wife, but mm. I I thought that oh, we don't drink. That's gonna be cheap. No, but then you had to pay the ballet and the, and you had to pay the entrance to the club and it's it, it's not that cheap either. So I'm trying to find something. You're, you're experiment, experimenting, yeah, I'm experimenting here and there. Yeah, oh. you should get into. Why don't you build birdhouses? <laughs> Jesus, Lord. <laughs> what? You, you really went. Build some birdhouses, like, yeah. You, you really show your age, man. With yeah, that. <laughs> man. Build some birdhouses, man. Yeah, they, help the, help the, you know, the, the, the population of the nah, birds and stuff like that, man. <laughs> Come on, guys. You, you, almost, you almost picked uh, netting. Like. <laughs> yeah. They, 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 there you go. Man. That's, a, that's a good one. Right there. <laughs> that's a good one, too. <laughs> You're really showing it. We are showing our age. <laughs> oh, my bad. I know. No, but I th- I think I think I think those are two good uh, uh, hobbies that I feel like I have on the side, mm-hmm. especially now that we've talked about this uh, on collection. Even though I just got these pieces, uh, I told you like it's uh, it's a big piece, and it was the other one that I had. It was kind of like the last one, and then this one came up, and then I'm like, oh, I have to I have to get it. Mm-hmm. So I got this one, and it's kind of like it, it's just kind of like slow down a little bit with with buying. Like I still enjoy mm-hmm. my yeah, collection, all that, and I'm not giving that up. Not yet. It's just, just kind of like a, a, I'm gonna give it a couple of, of weeks. But in the meantime, I think, I think doing that is just like uh, the puzzles, and we were playing, we were, uh, we were uh, doing a board game with the Saias, and like it's, mm-hmm. it's just kind of like. But I, I think, I think to me, I'm, I think I'm a little bit of a nerd on that, I guess. But I, do, I really like. I don't, I don't like going out too much. I don't. I don't like a hobby that hey, that needs to go out. I right? mean, I was. I'm. I'm like that too. Honestly, I think we're we're old already. But 
I mean, me, of course, almost every weekend I was out racing. So that's what I was doing. Mm. Um, but before then, of course, I was collecting, too, and I wasn't going out that much. But then, when, you know, when, when you get that hit that scene, it all changes up. So I'm out. I wasn't even thinking about figures at that time. And then once I left that scene, now I'm, I don't even want to go out. Just want to hang out at the house and, you mm-hmm. know, just look. Look, look through the internet and see when, what when I can we, find. When, or, when yeah. we become older, like I feel like it's just we appreciate everything that as a kid was a punishment, right? So, yeah. and the kids will like they will punish you like, oh, you're not gonna go out, uh, oh, you're you yeah. you stay <laughs> home, uh, you're, you're, and yeah. they're like, oh, shit, I want I want to stay home. I don't want to go out. I don't want I want to. Well, he said yes. Now, now I guess he's trying to figure out what and going out. I think since he he said he's young, you know, he wants to go out and. Go to concerts and... Well, uh, yeah, a, a, a little bit. But when Elisa said that we like to do stuff that used to be punishment, uh, recently I saw the movie uh, Breakfast Club. It's a really old movie. Uh, mm. Have you seen uh, Have you heard of it? Yeah. The Breakfast Club. And the the, the principal tells them to write a thousand word, es- a thousand word essay of themselves. Mm-hmm. And I saw that I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, it will be, be kind of nice. Yeah, nah, I don't want to do that. No, 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 I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't want to do nothing to do it. <laughs> writing or reading. I, oh. I, I think I'm, my, 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 it's weird because there's there's a lot of things that will get my attention, like really, really good. Mm-hmm. Like where I put my full attention for two, three hours, four hours. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to send a wrong message, but I cannot. I can't read. Like I mean, I I, I can't read. Oh, but oh guys. I cannot hold. I cannot. <laughs> that didn't come like, out right. That's no, like, I I I really can't. Like it just I cannot read a full page of a book, like why? without. But my head, my my my. Your mind goes elsewhere. If I okay, read a okay. word and they're like, oh yeah, and then the, the river, it was the water was, and then I, my, I start picturing my the river, mm. and then mm, what else is in the river? And blah, blah, blah. but but <laughs> okay. in my in my my eyes, my brain's still reading, but. It's, I get what it's you're saying. The river. No, but have you tried getting the audiobook and reading, and at the same time that that works for no, me? No, I'm not that nerd. So, <laughs> but I do like hearing. Like I do, I, I do. Uh, I don't know for some reason I, I like to pay attention on on, on audiobooks or no. Or, it's good. It, it, so, but I cannot. I, I, I know cannot exactly. It, it's, but that's that's just the way you. Fun- Everybody functions differently. You know, some people are hands on. Some people are visual. Some people mm. are more of reading instructions and things like that. That everybody just works functions differently, and, and that's the way. I mean, it's just I get what you're saying because I used to be like that, and I had to read the passages two or three times. Yeah, me too. And to get just, to get, well, just, to get I, what I, you're, it'll yeah. take it'll take me forever to to finish a book mm-hmm. because. I'm I'm reading and then I'm halfway the the, for the like the first page or whatever, then I know I already read all the way down, but I didn't. I I got lost on like yeah. So I had to go back and read it again. Mm-hmm. It's, it's no, but ha- you, you honestly need to try getting the audiobook and reading at the same time. But why would I pay double? Like if I get the audiobook, I'm good with the audiobook. I don't need to <laughs> why, read it. Why would I pay double? Yes, too. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but I think I think that <laughs> if you if you have Amazon Prime, you have audio books for free oh, or something yeah, like I that. I yeah, you you, you can you can see you can research in on that. I'll try yeah. that. It's a good hobby. Pick mm-hmm. it up. <laughs> I'll stay with. It's with a good fossils. hobby. Pick it up. <laughs> stay with fossils. Well, nah. so so okay. So that being said, you know we're, we're talking about the topic about you know open and and private collection. So being that you slow down. Oh yeah. By the way, let's let's yeah. introduce the topic. Yeah. You know it was. The topic is uh, open versus private collectors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. We're trying to find out why the private collectors are private collectors, which were not the case. And why Clearly. open collectors? Why, <laughs> yeah, why, why open collectors are open collectors? Yeah. So I, I mean, just going back a little bit, revert, you know, reverting back to what you were saying about. So it's be, being that you slow down. Of course, sometimes you have to slow down on on, on buying. Mm-hmm. Do you do you actually like seeing other people? get good pieces and you're like wow that's that's awesome you know like a friend or 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 or, you know somebody that you know um i've been seeing here lately a couple guys that you know that that i speak with they've been getting some really good pieces you know and i i get interested you know seeing them buy stuff like that that intrigues me i guess just to just to know that they have a piece in it yeah i don't know i feel like no uh, yeah i i do i do i like it and i especially when it comes to to kind of like rare figures Mm -hmm. um i like it because i feel like I'm, I have if it is a super rare figure, I like to know where that figure is at. 
Mm-hmm. So, for example, I'm missing off of my muscle mods that the dogs. Uh, I'm missing one, mm-hmm. like carded, and I know who has it, and I think it's one or two guys that I know who has it, and I reached out to one of them, and like, this, you know, he's not selling or budget or just trading or anything, but, but I I like to. Do Keep an eye on stuff like who yeah. has what, and I, I like it. I, and 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 I, I'm, I, I, not not in a way of a, oh, I wish I have it. I feel like I'm so focused right now on what do I want, what what is my next step, that I feel like I don't I don't get either envy or yeah, jealousy I mean. or anything like that. If if anybody gets a, a nice piece, like I know what I want. Um, so okay. I do get a little bit of jealous if it if it is a piece <laughs> that I wanted. It happened to me a li- uh, <laughs> not too long ago with with a friend of ours, uh, El Buen Jose, good, uh-huh. good, old, oh. good old good old Jose. <laughs> yeah, he found this Goku, but he also found the Bulma. Like, uh, uh, congratulations, uh, man! And, and, and <laughs> like, he sure loves from the, the bottom he, of my heart. I'm so happy. And he sure loves to shove it in your face. Yes, man. yes, yes. He loves your yeah. <laughs> he sure does. No, that's 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 funny. So so then let me ask you this: What about um? What about okay? Saying that you envy and jealousy to open collectors or, or collectors in general, um, do you think that some some of these people lie about what they have just to say that they have it because you know they're envious or ah, I got that too, you know? I don't oh, care. just to kind of like match the oh, because yeah, it sounds weird, but kind of like the who has the bigger yeah. Um, I think I I've seen a couple of uh, of cases of people lying. Uh, I've seen people putting up on their, on their, or kind of like getting exposed mm-hmm. on their Instagram. Like, Hey, that's my picture. Why are you putting it up? I've seen that. I, I have them. a guy on Instagram. I follow a guy, even though he has a great collection, mm-hmm. he's, he's, he's got a good collection. Mm-hmm. He has, he's put sometimes a couple of pictures or video on his story, on his histories as it was almost like his. And I'm like, I know I know who owns that piece. Mm-hmm. So I know your you your collection is is rare, but I know that piece is not yours. And I like he never says it's his, but he kind of shows it up as it's his. Something like it's weird. It's weird. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it just I don't know if he, he does it on purpose or not. If you go to his to his feed, mm-hmm. he will have a lot of his his collectibles, but then he's got pictures of stuff that is not his. Now I understand if you disclaim it and then just like, hey, just case, okay, just somebody else's collection, and yeah. thank you for letting me visit, thank you for letting me see, or whatever. Mm-hmm. All these guys send me this picture, some whatever. Yeah, you you put a disclaimer. But I've caught a couple of guys. I wonder. Uh, I wonder what the reasoning behind that is. It's just to. Mm. It, I mean that, that, and I think that's the reason why I think sometimes, uh, mm. private collectors, they're private because uh, for well, that just, for that reason they yeah, don't. Yeah. They don't want. Sorry, they, they, you know, they don't want people to be, you know, taking their pictures and 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 saying that that's that's their piece, or you know, they just don't want they just don't want to hear anybody's backlash or, mm. or they have something to say, something negative. Because I've heard this that they, you know, they have something negative to say. I'd rather just not say that I have it. That way, they don't have to say anything. Or I mean, that's what I, I just never, I never talked to a private collector to ask them what is the reason why is it because if they're, they're scared somebody's gonna try to rob them, is it is it more so because they don't want to. Here's some negative feedback. Is it because you know mm-hmm. they just they just don't want people to know what exactly they have because then people are gonna try to harass them. Sell it to me. Sell it to me. Yeah, that's happened I before. Think, so I think all private collectors have to be. They cannot be one hundred percent. Well, maybe they can. I don't know. I'm just that's what I'm saying. But but, uh, but I I don't think there's like a one hundred percent private collector because. Once you reach out, and th- this happens to me, and, and shout out to, to my friend. I'm not going to say his name because he's a private collector, mm-hmm. and blah, 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 but he probably knows who, he, who it is. And he reached out to me, and he has to explain who he is because otherwise I'm like, who are you? Yeah. And he, t- he explained me, I, I'm a collector. I collect this line. I have this much. I would like mm-hmm. to acquire your piece. So he's, he's reaching out to me to, to buy one of my pieces. Mm-hmm. But before that, he has to give me an explanation. So... In a way, he's breaking up his privacy. He's not telling me where he lives or anything like that. But yeah, of course. I, 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 at least at a, at a minimum, I, I'm all. I'm you know, he like, collects. That's... Yeah. So all I'm saying is not a hundred percent private, like right. So you need to reach out sometimes mm-hmm. to. 
So I, I wonder, I wonder, like you said, I wonder if there is actually a private, a I've, real I've, private. You need to have a lot of money. To I've be heard, a private I've heard, right? I've heard uh, the story of uh, what's it called. The, it's one of the Paul, the YouTubers, the Paul, the one that collects Pokemon. Is it Jake, Jake Paul? Jake Paul, Paul believe. Well, I think both of them are Jake Paul. That, this, this is a good question for you. Right, so yes, who's right. the one that collects Pokemon? The, the, the boxer or the other guy? <coughs> no, the wrestler. I think, I, th I, th I think it's the other guy, Logan, Logan Paul. Logan, yeah, okay, okay, sorry, Logan okay, Paul? yeah, yeah, the, the big, the big one, the, the yeah, the, the older the wrestler, one. okay, older. yeah. All right, so I saw a video of him uh, buying one of the rarest or the more expensive uh, Pokemon card on a YouTube video that he di he did. Mm -hmm. uh, he got the contact of this collector, but that collector has <laughs> sent a, a, a representative, like, a, oh wow, he had like that much money that to make them like, and then. Whoever knew, oh. like somebody knew this guy, Logan wanted the, the, the piece. And then if you see the video, you'll see, you'll, you'll understand better. But it was something like, and then he knew that, that he knew the contact, but not the collector. So he was really, really private that he has, and he had a lot, enough money to send or like, like so a lawyer really, yeah. or somebody like to put a face in then to make the exchange. Like he will never come up as, as a collector. He, as a collector. He's a private collector. But and in, in on those levels, like I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure they can be private collectors like that. I well, I, me personally, I think I, I think I think the reason they're if, they, if they're in that level at that level, I think it's because um they have money and they're afraid somebody's probably gonna try to go after them. They have them. money. You, you you have a lot of security. You have a lot of still. You have to take your precautions. But yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I mean, you you I hear all these celebrities, their houses get broken it's just, into it's and things just, like it's that. It's just the the the. You, you you said it yourself earlier. Like, is everybody's different. Everybody functions different. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what part of our brain tells us tells us to be private. What part of like tells us like, hey, you yeah, can be an open collector. That's one of the I always I always wonder what the private collector. And it's not we're not saying it's wrong. It, it, I'm not saying it's wrong. It, it, I just like to know like what what is what if you were to put five private collectors in one room, I I would like to know if there's something between each each one that come that's in common. What is the main mm, reason yeah. why? Your private. I collector. think a lot of them. It's because uh, of um, they're 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 afraid of, of of that of being being robbed, like of being. But at the same time, why do celebrities, uh, high end actors, they do uh, interviews in, in their houses, or those are not their houses? Like you could actually see the house of a, a really high end celebrity. So. Um, it, they, they're not afraid of that no the because if it's it, sometimes it's even public uh like knowledge like there's a lot of people in hollywood there's even tours and then they mm -hmm. ha i've heard of this little tour bus and they're like tour bus and then like yeah. say, oh here lives uh yeah, Hol the hollywood lives they do that they have the little tour bus right so here. it's kind of like common knowledge uh where they live now now how do they protect it is different yeah that's, that's 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 wait, allow me to do one question why do they have to explain to you that that he is uh, a, a collector if he just want to buy something? I don't I don't get that part. When you're trying to buy something, especially a, a rare figure, a, a rare figure, a rare figure. I think the rare, I think I think that's on. I think that's what the no hits the common. You the said common it's rare. The, is the rare figure? The rare figure. Mm. When it's it's such a slim chance to find a piece, you don't want to like. I don't know, step the, the or push the wrong buttons on a guy. You don't know if if a guy is uh like short what is that? Short um uh, fuse if it is okay, easily yeah, like ah yeah. oh, don't be contacting me. Oh I don't yeah. like so I feel like if you're approaching to buy a figure that somebody doesn't wanna sell, you kinda wanna smoothen the, the hey, okay, this is me and blah, blah, blah. Mm. you don't come up with like how much you want for that? I'm like, who are you? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, get the heck out of my DM, you know. The, the, pro the approach, approach is, approach is everything. Is different. Like, I try to, to buy a couple of uh, stray cats for my guy, uh, and then I told him a couple of like, you know, he's like, no, they're not for sale. He he never put them up for sale though. He he just posted them on, on Facebook and they're like, no, they're not for sale. And it seemed like such a short, dry answers. Mm -hmm. and as much as one kind of make conversation, he was not. Not yeah. all for it, and then I think I approached him a second time in the span of three weeks or something like that, four weeks. Mm -hmm. And then I recently uh, reached out to him again, <laughs> and the guy was like, he told me like, "Oh, I already told you that I sold him uh, 
And he insulted me like like bad. Like he he I'm like don't you fucking understand? I was something like that. Oh, wow. Like chill, bro. And I'm like and I replied to me like chill. Like first of all, you never told me that you sold him. Second of all, you don't have to be an ass. And like oh my bad, I didn't, I didn't see like it was another guy that kept asking me and and I he's mm. he's, bugging, he's bugging me and da, da, da. I don't think he sold him. He just told everybody else who's interested that he sold him. But now, how do I know if he sold him, who to sold him? He barely wanted to sell him to me. He's not going to give me the information to who, yeah. to whom he sold it. So it, it, sometimes it's, it's a delicate, you don't know who you're talking to. And if you, if you, for me, that, 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 that was a very sl like, sl like slim, slim, yeah, slim, slim. um, Slip opportunity, Chance. yeah. Opportunity. I didn't want to blow it. And then when he got mad, like, ah, whatever. He already yeah, approaches it. everything. I, I think. So you, so sometimes you have to explain yourself and kind of like soften, soften yeah. up a little bit the, mm -hmm. the situation. I think, I think it's, it's almost, it's almost like a perfect example. I mean, we talked about this before about people trading, even trading when it comes to trading, not just selling, but trading. That's even worse. Well, well the reason why, why I was going to bring up was. Like, if you don't know the person. Yeah. You have to explain or, or, yourself. Or it, I, it could go either way because let's just say. Perfect example. Let's talk about Ariel real quick. You know, y'all made y'all made that that deal, that mega deal for the for the Sam and everything. What and he told you, dude. The reason why I'm doing this is because I see that you're going hard into muscle months. And because he knows me, even though. Yeah, like, but but at the same time, he knows a lot of other people too, and a lot, and other people had offered him. You know, so but what he's saying is, hey, look, I see that you're going deep into it. You're you're going deep into it. And I but think he I, knows other people that he knows other people that he's going deep into it. And, and I don't want to say what he, I don't want to put words on his. Like, yeah, no, but, 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 but that's what, but what I'm, I'm just saying in general, is I think that's what happens is once you break the ice, your approach has to be, of course, mm -hmm. with private, I guess, private or open collector is your, your, pro your approach has to, has to come in where they know that it's going to like people have sold you stuff. I know it's going to a good home. I, I won't say it just in matter of fact, exactly. here's a perfect example. I just, I just, I just got me a vinyl cave Java, right? Mm -hmm. The guy was not willing to sell it. You need to bring your new pieces here to the next place. Okay, I'll know. bring them. So I just purchased a vinyl cave Java, right? And mm. I know he had an extra one. Mm. And shout out to Junior, thank you. Um, so he tells me, uh, he goes, if if it wasn't you, I wouldn't have sold it to. He he named a couple of names, and we had Andres. He had, he mentioned mm. a couple of names of a couple of people, you know, collectors. And he goes, if it was anybody else, I wouldn't have sold it. Yeah. And he told me, he goes, if you ever decide to sell it. Sell it back to me? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, yeah, so that, that's, there's that's people that, that have attachment to their, to the fingers. Yeah. And, and he, I mean, he has and two And that them. makes it even harder to either sell or, or trade. And I feel like, like for me, uh, just kind of like when you mentioned that, like, especially for trading, if you want to trade with that, with a private or, or open collector, you need to to. I think it's a to, resume. Honestly, you, yeah, you, you need me. to either a resume, present a resume, or, and this is your resume, or yeah, or or build 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 trust, and then that's gonna be with a. It's gonna take more time building trust, but I think having a good resume. Well, that that's true. That's true. That's also that's also a, a that's, really cool thing to 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 mention. I feel like uh, that's one thing that that I, that I'm gonna mention about this platform. That has given me. I don't know about you. I don't know about Isaias, mm -hmm. but but to <laughs> me, kind of, it has given me gave me um, uh, a little bit of recognition. Yes. So it it just a perfect like you said, perfect example. I just saw this Goku. Right. So it's not a it's not a it's not a cheap figure. Mm -hmm. uh, I posted on a on a Facebook group, and on Facebook, I'm not as Kingscape, right? Because I use my personal. I should have opened a different Facebook account for, <laughs> but, but I, I, I use my personal Facebook yeah. to go into into groups, whether Dragon Ball or mm -hmm. TMNT or anything. So, people who had, who added me uh, on Facebook, which, which by the way, I mean, if you want to add me, you can add me. But um, and if I don't accept it, like don't feel bad. I don't post anything about collectibles on my on my personal Facebook. Like I, just, I don't use it for that as. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so so the guy re like recognized me. I'm like, hey, oh, so by the way, you're the, you're the king's cave. I'm like, uh, yes. It, it feels weird, even though even it's it, online. Even I want fifteen hundred for it. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> even though, no, even though it's it's it just it just feels good that that this platform has gave me reach. Mm -hmm. 
And then immediately, like everything, it was going smooth, actually. And then immediately after I told him and then I was like, yeah, send me a message on on, the, on, on Instagram. And then we started talking on Instagram. Everything's smooth now. Like uh, he didn't ask for no references. It's expensive. Like he paid me right right there and then. Mm-hmm. So like, and he's trusted. I, I explained him, okay, well, I gave him options. What was the best option for you to yeah. ship? And all that, like, but, but, but he trusted me right away. So I feel like that's a cool thing about being an open collector uh, with a platform. Mm-hmm. I feel like people know that you're serious. That's also one of the, like, uh, I got this, um, one of the, 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 the guy that didn't, that was weird because he was selling it and he didn't want to sell it until he recognized, he saw my, my collection. And it was like, he got all, I sent my DM, like my, my DM, my Instagram. And I'm like, Hey, look. This is my Instagram. Like, I'm a serious collector. And he was like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's... And then he got, ex- okay, so I'll, I'll sell it to you. I'm like, it was weird. But but anyways, having a platform, it does help you uh, sometimes with collecting, whether so, you're so buying you, or selling. So pretty much being an open collector, and uh, I mean, to show off your resume, if you want to say that, that that's a good perk to, uh, people to, know to make that trades going, or sales. It's, it's going yeah. to a good collection. And and and, that, and I think I think that's where, that's where the reseller and all that comes into play where... The reseller, I, I, reseller really don't care much about where it no no going, uh, what, no what I'm getting at is say for instance you you're gonna you're gonna give me a piece I'm like oh, I'm gonna just resell it and you're like man this is a hard piece dude I really want I would like you to keep it in your collection you know to, to appreciate it but like, now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make money off of this I'm gonna resell it I think that also comes into play too where guys are cautious about that because some people don't want you to resell it they want you to hold on to yes it. I don't think I have that feeling with many of my figures I mm-hmm. think maybe a couple I will have that. That that feeling, mm-hmm. and and if I need to sell it, I uh, I mean, now I know because I've been selling a couple of doubles. Well, well, yeah, well, if, but that's the thing. This but is if I get to sell the Sam, that has to be to a special person. And, oh, and, and, thank you. Yeah, thank you're you. not you're not in you're not <laughs> in it. You're not in it. Uh, <laughs> no, but see that that's what I mean. It says some somebody has to explain themselves like who they are. Kind of gives you a, a little bit of ba- background or a, a resume or. So how would that work? For, that's what saying, how would that work for a private collector? That that's what I'm getting at. Like how? how it, I, I guess you gotta yeah, money. Yeah, money probably. talks, I guess. And do you agree that that's the way it should be? Do you agree <coughs> that that method of giving like that resume, that background, where you are, what was your collection? It, do you think that's the way it should be? Or? I think so because it's almost like say for instance, it's everyday life. It's almost like getting a job again. It, it, if you if you if you turn in a resume, okay, let's say you just get a walk-in. You get a walk-in person is hey, yeah, I know how to install that, and then you get a guy that comes in with the full-blown resume, and they, you know it shows. Who, 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 it, it comes to a wire, you know? a, a, a small line, because if you if you're looking at any other figure common I think the anywhere. rarity will be but the, the the rare ones those are the ones that come down to people will, will, will put some sentimental 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 value about, yeah. and then it kind of make you can be one of the prospects that wants to buy it like maybe there's a couple of guys after it which is what happens with the Sam a lot of people were looking for the Sam with Ariel there was something that kind of like making made a decision to 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 trade with me. Of course, I had nice stuff to trade with them. It was not f- like for free. It was not just for sale. Probably he wouldn't have just sold it to me. He, would, he doesn't, you know. He don't need it. He's like, no, not for money. But like I had what he kind of like were looking, was looking for. But also at the same time, made a, made a, a difference, you know, who, who, who was on the, other, on the other end. So sometimes having that, I'm not, I don't want to say recognition because it sounds so pompous of me. Like, I, cause I don't, I don't have no, that type not, of fame. But it's, but it's not. But it's when not. it comes to that, like sometimes it can be the 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 deal breaker for some people to sell it to you or trade it with you, rather than other people. That is that is really really peculiar because that means that that is another scale of item, another scale of product. Because luxury, really, really luxury cars. If you if, if any person walks to uh, I don't know to a McLaren wants to get their their, their best uh, super sports car, you can buy it. Mm-hmm. Even if you have the money, you can buy it. You have to be someone that will give a good image to the brand. So this is a this is a, is a, a you? No? you see you see this mostly yeah. on Ferrari. I, I mean I, Ferrari has okay. people banned from buying Ferraris because they 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 they. they and we're talking about celeb people as in celebrities no, or who, how, how celebrities. How or can they just ban anybody, somebody without anybody, knowing? Anybody, yeah. They can if, if they if they have proof that they use like 
the brand like in a in a bad that would just ban them from buying it, right? So okay. so I have I was looking at one of those reels. I don't know if it is true or not, but um they were saying that Tom Cruise was banned from buying I w- I'm not sure if it was a Bentley or one of the super rare and expensive cars. Mm-hmm. Uh, he brought it to the red carpet and the brown was super excited about it. But when he uh, stepped up, stepped down, uh, step up, step, car, stepped out the car. Yeah. And then he, he, he went around to open the, the girl's uh, side of the car. Uh-huh. It took him like 10, 15 seconds to open it. He didn't know how to open it or oh, something like uh. that. So he, he showed to the world that he was struggling to open in the car and mm. then the brown like didn't like that look man that's crazy and though. apparently like it was like nah they're, they're just ban him from from buying who cares <laughs> yeah, yeah but that's why crazy. does he care you know it's tom cruise right so yeah that's cares? crazy man. but still but, you know but, yeah. yeah so but, but i don't think i don't think we're on that level but 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 yeah yeah some people some people put their stuff well probably. it sounds like you're tom cruise because people are giving you free toys or i wish <laughs> free toys yeah i wish <laughs> No, Cause, but because uh, it's but, happening but, the opposite but, with me. They're actually uh, charging me. Hey, I want my money, but I know who you are. I know where you are. And <laughs> <laughs> you know you're the bad guy. They know that you're the bad <laughs> no, guy no, in this no, podcast. No, 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 you're, no. you're the addict. <laughs> um, but the good addict. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like um, open. Like I don't know what benefits can a, can a private collector have. That, that's what I'm saying. I think I uh, think besides the privacy, which is obvious. Privacy, but I think yeah, the ben- I don't know. I just I just see the perks on on being open and collected because you have a good resume, you know that your 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 collection, you know that's happened before with me too, where guys were like, oh, I'll sell you this piece because I know you're you're a high end collector, blah blah, blah. and then they've, I've heard that before, you know, it's, it's not to sound stuck up or anything like that. We're just you know being, I'm just telling you what we I don't know told. you are stuck no, up, no. But, but anyways, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you keep keep so, bragging about your vinyl cape Jaguar and all that. All right, <laughs> what else? And uh, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just when it comes to private collectors, I mean, I think they just have to have money to get what, what I'm they, saying. Like, yeah. if, you, if you don't want to have that resume, if you don't want to have that, that, that out there, uh, I guess. Yeah, maybe they have so, to so let me ask you this. What would you consider once you expose a let, let's say so if a, if a private collector decides to if, you're, if you're if you're a collector, if you say that you're a collector, whether you, have, you show your collector or not, I don't think you're a private collector no more. OK. I, I knew him, I knew immediately where you were going that, with that's, that. I, I Sorry, like that. I didn't. I no, didn't let I, you finish the no, question. But that's why. I, but I like that. That that's just, that's true. If you're gonna if you're gonna say you're a private collector, you don't talk about it. Period. Yeah, I, you don't I, say anything. Yeah, at that all. I agree. Because I feel like the but, fact that you have a the that you're you have a private collection, but you're not a private collector. You're not. Yeah. You're out there. You're saying that you're a collector, you're just not showing what you have. Mm-hmm. And now that leaves us do wondering you, whether you, you are it? or not. Or do you have it or, or not? Do you actually have it? Cause that is, that, but that is, that, 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 that is a, like that is a good a good a good way to put it because I think if you're a private collector, people don't know who they don't even know who you are. They don't know what you have. This guy that 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 talked to me that that, that Rich talked to me, he mm-hmm. told me like, not like some of my brothers like that, not not even them know that I collect. Like he's private. Pri- he he had to come up with me and kind of like explain himself a little bit. So he told you he was Batman then, right? He, he's not private like that. No I'm like, yeah, yeah. He was, he was showing me. <laughs> and then he, he was like, every time that he showed me a picture, he, he kind of like makes a disclaimer only for your eyes, for your eyes yeah. only. And I'm like, cool, thank you. Can I, can I screenshot it? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> sure, but only for your eyes. All right, sure. Uh-huh. But, but... And I screenshot, and honestly, I I've kept my word. I I, yeah. don't, I don't post. I don't show. Anything. And I wish I wish I would have seen those pictures. But anyways, but, um, but 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 yeah, it's 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 a he's a. But but okay, so so then, are you considering him still a private collector or no? In your eyes, in my eyes, no, because now I know he's a yeah. collector. Okay. Now, I'm 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 respecting his wish of not telling who he is or what yeah. he does or who, so. Well, to the rest of the world, his private collector. Okay. So where? So yeah, that, that's private collector. So to who so then? we can agree that that if you're a private collector, that means you're not supposed to talk about any of thing that you have that you're even a collector. You're not supposed to uh, fly club. You're not supposed to talk about the fly club. Okay. If you're a is private, there? Do you think is, is is there a piece that you would get that will make you consider not showing it, not not letting anybody know that you have it? Uh, 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 beside you really close friends I, I mean you two guys or something like that but is there something that you no nah, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show this on the on the channel or, or talk about this figure 
I don't have to show it. I but, mean, um, I, I'm I'm pretty sure in this in this uh in this podcast throughout, people have seen some crazy stuff mm-hmm. here in this. So I don't think we're 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 shy about showing stuff. And is that to brag? And that it's just we're just uh, happy to show it. Like this mm-hmm. is a beautiful piece, and that's the thing. We he's happy to show it. You know, he, this is one of the things that he was going after. You know, and and uh, he got it. So he's and he's proud. Again, of it. He's not proud to, of it. not yeah. to not to brag about it like that. But it's so hard to to find. And so hard to see. Like, try to look it up on eBay. Try to look it up anywhere. You're not going to find one with a box. Mm-hmm. So, for me to put it up here, I don't know. I wish somebody and it, would it, do that a little bit more often. Like, I could see those. I could fix my eyes. Or yeah, like, and it, 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 that's what I was going to say. It, it intrigues people. To be like, hmm, I wonder what that is. And they start looking into it. And honestly, that may even open up other people's eyes. Like, just like it happened with me and it's happened with any other collector that I know. Of. You see a new line, you see a new figure, like, oh, man, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. And it makes you want to start looking deeper into it. And maybe with that, you start seeing try to, people trying to go after that piece. And they're going to say, man, that's a hard piece to come by. But they start looking at other Dragon Ball pieces. And what happens? The market starts getting better. I mean, you know, I'm going... I'm thinking bigger, but I'm just I'm just saying, you know, a private collector. I just don't see what it benefits just to know that that private collector know what he has. But yeah, I mean, I agree with also being a private collector means you cannot say what you you don't even have to say you're a collector. But to me, in my brain, and I've uh, and I've said it before, my brain doesn't cannot compute. My my brain cannot like digest or, or, or understand. For me, a collection, and, and ever since I started it, I, 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 I've always, one of the enjoyments, you have you have on and you enjoy opening up a figure, a new figure. You, you enjoy uh, looking up, you, you enjoy the hunt. Mm-hmm. But even even somebody that walks in, people that, friends of our family or whatever, or, or, or family that they, they don't know nothing about collectibles, to come up here and they're like, wow, that have, that's to me something that I enjoy as well. Yeah. Like it's a nice experience. And then I, I love talking about the collection. So that's why I cannot. And then now if I can share it, I will. Mm-hmm. So that's why I cannot compute in my head. Like it's, it's obviously something that I cannot transfer or translate or whatever in my head, how to be a private collector. I don't think like to me, a collection should be to show. Now I understand even, even in art, uh, industry or whatever i don't know the, the art i don't know how do you say it uh there's a lot of you know museums and there's a lot of but there's a lot of private collectors that they like just, they just I, like, yeah i think i think uh, I we're, we're just talking about figures but i'm pretty sure i'm 100 percent sure that there's probably even collect cars guys that collect cars that are private collect. i mean every, there's gonna be just like there's collectors on action figures and and paintings all and kind of collectors there's gonna be there's, all be, there's of, also gonna be private collectors as well there's always private collectors and that's so, so the Leo Faker that I had, that I'm uh, not the Faker, but the the Skeletor, the Skeletor that I had, uh-huh. that came from a from a collector, but he he got it from a third party collector. So he like had to give from a collector to another collector that didn't want to sell it. Mm. So he it, almost what you told me, what you mentioned is, he had to talk to his guy, so his guy could convince him to sell it to him, sell it to this guy, and then because the other guy didn't want to, yeah, he didn't exactly, a prime yeah. yeah, and so that's like, hmm, you know, but how did he know that he had that piece? And this a is close this, friend, and this, but, this but, is where it comes to, to yeah. To, but this is the reason why. This is another reason why I would think maybe private collectors do that because it tends to happen. It's happened to me a couple of times, but I'm not gonna say I have those kind of pieces. But you show something off, and oh, I want it, and then you come on, I want it, and I want it, and like no, I'm not trying. This is a piece that I'm keeping in my PC, but guys want it, and and it happens from time to time. Not, and I'm gonna say all the time, but guys do ask how you selling it well, whenever you're ready to sell it let me know blah blah and then, yeah you know i'll let you know be respectful about it but then yeah you know you have some guys that, that do want the piece and like i really wasn't really trying to sell it you know i'm not i'm just showing mm, it yeah, showing so, it out yeah, yeah yeah you know and and so there's things that like people that don't know that i have and lines that i collect i didn't even know you collect that like yeah i have stuff like that but i just don't i feel like you're you're kind of halfway in the middle because like, you you're an open collector you're at your, uh, <laughs> I'm you mysterious. like both. You, you like you like both ways. Yeah, <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, anyways. like I said, it, it, I just, I just don't show everything off. But I, I, I mean, I tend to do like showing 
No, I few know. pieces off, you know, why not? Why Carlos, just? and do you have problems when you want to buy something, uh, a really high-end piece because you are, you, you also have a store? Is that a, is that a thing that people doubt? Oh, yeah, this is going to your, to your personal collection or this is going to the store. Is that a topic? Is there something that you talk about or not really? No, no, because I could divide. I could divide both. Like I said, if if I'm a buy, and this is where we talk about, you know, um, trying to buy at a resale price and trying to buy at at market value. And I mean, these pieces that I bought, I think I bought them at a good price. But they were. I'm gonna say I I won on them. Why well, I could resell them? I bought them for pretty much what they're worth. And um, yeah, I mean, I I don't have an issue. Like I said, if People say, is it for sale? Like, I'll be right away telling them, no, it's not for sale. And I don't have an issue telling them, no, it's not for sale because they say, well, you're a reseller. Yeah, I'll resell you everything else I have, but these are pieces that I'm keeping in my personal collection because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm half and half. Like like you said, I like to go both ways. See, I told so, you. So, um, you know, I like to resell and I also like to, like to, I'm all, you know, you a reseller too. So he, he goes both ways as ah. well because he's been reselling as well. Don't say no. you have it. I, I've been say you cle- have it. cleansing my collection. Okay. Oh, I'm now not really cleansing, right? I'm now cleansing my okay. collection. Okay. Okay. That's now not he's cleansing. You're a cleanser. Reseller will be if I'm like okay. buying with the intention to sell. He's That's a reseller. Buying okay. with an see, intention see, to why, sell. Why do you have to? Why do you have to get all, all technical? Technical, yeah, man. Because <laughs> you're reselling I, it. Somebody has to put you a line, man. You're reselling it. I don't care what you say. There's a fine you're reselling line. It. You're reselling it. At the end of the day, no, that's what you're doing. Sir. You, well, res- you resell. You uh, resell them I'm, to I'm, get what? I'm helping other people to to, to get their pieces. I'm <laughs> okay, not, okay, okay. Not reselling. <laughs> okay, okay. You're helping. Well, I guess I guess I'm I'm, I'm a big helper too because that's all I do. Help people. So. Yeah, but uh, to answer your question, uh, just uh, yeah, I I don't have an issue telling people if I buy a piece that it's it's my personal collection. And there's guys that actually told me, "Come on, sell it to me." And I know I'm sorry, I just can't. You know, I'm not ready to sell. But whenever I am, they know I'll, I'll let you know. And that's pretty much how I go about it. But I won't I won't resell something that's in my personal collection. Usually, I don't. But what about when you have to? give your resume you say you are a reseller or you go with no i'm a collector it it depends because usually what happens is people that want to re- that want to come and they sell to me i don't go ask hey how much for this or you know there's t- there's times that i've gone and say hey well look i'll give you this much for it if they want to make the deal they do if they don't then they don't but i don't go in as saying i'm a reseller or i'm a collector i just go hey i like this piece and I'll decide what I want to do with it. But I don't ever really go based off of... I'm not going to lowball somebody too and be like, if I really want the piece for my personal collection, I don't... Honestly, and, and I swear to y'all guys, I never use this as as a, as a tool. It's be, well, I'm a reseller, so sell it to me for cheaper. Mm. I've never done that, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to respect... I'm going to be respectful because at the end of the day, I don't want them to come at me that way too. I wouldn't want somebody to come at me and try to lowball me, which has happened before, and I just don't... Don't answer the, you know, I don't, I won't. Yeah, don't do, don't do to other people what. Yeah, so exactly. So I never, like I never done it. Like I said, I'm honest. And I'll tell the person if I am going to get the piece to resell it, I'll, that's when I'll tell them that. But at the same time, if it's for my personal collection, then if, if we could come to an agreement, then we'll come to, but I'm not going to be like, hey, well, send it to me for this much because I want, I'm, I'm going to resell it eventually. I want to make double a profit or, or at least a quarter of it, whatever. No, I'll, I'll be honest about it. No, so. yeah, and, and when we were saying about that, I feel like there's people that that you wouldn't sell your species to, but uh, like I feel like like there's like there are exceptions. I now we we're talking about we're we're entering the 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 realm of of friendship, right? So mm-hmm. not everybody, but I feel like I could make a, a couple of exceptions, like to either trade or sell mm-hmm. to people like like Carlos, like Ariel, like Jose, like Epelon. Like, you know, people that I know, because, you know, in, in, with me, you, it doesn't have to be a, 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 oh, a long lasting friendship, you know, uh, Jose, I, I just, I, I just know him like not mm-hmm. too long ago, but immediately, you know, he started like, you know, helping me out with, with the Dragon Ball stuff. He, he knows a lot of Dragon mm-hmm. Ball He's, you know, hinting me, hey, like, look at this piece, look at this uh, part. Hey, do you know about this? Do you know about that? Look, uh, like, th- like he's he's the one who gave me the lead for th- for this one. Yeah, uh-huh. I, even though I I had the app, I I, I it, it didn't show up on my on my search. Wow. Uh, so yeah, so th- those type of people, like, instead of him buying it off and then trying to resell it to me, that's what I don't like. Right. So people 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 might take have approached to yeah. me, and then it happens before. 
where like they they trying to or they say they're my friends. Oh yeah, oh, no, no, we're good. Yeah, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. But then all of a sudden they just want you to 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 buy. They want to make an easy dollar off of you. Uh, and then I'm like, uh, dude, okay, I I respect that. If you're providing good figures, I respect it. But then don't be texting me every other hour and then telling me that we want to be best friends and all of that. You know, because when whenever you see a piece on on up for sale that you know that I'm looking for, mm-hmm. if you say that we're friends, you send you the link. You send something. me the link. Right, you don't you don't buy it to resell it to me for of, like then that's not a friend. Okay, it, but again, I can respect that. Yeah, I can understand that, and, and I'm fine, and I'm fine with buying from resellers because if I need the figure, if I, all right, perfect. If yeah. you found it first, that's good. What I don't like is saying, "Oh, uh, we're friends," and then you try to make a you another. Try, you just, you just, even, even if it's an easy twenty bucks off of you, it's I just don't I don't see that. Just, I mean, yeah, I just yeah. feel like okay, so that, that's cool. That, okay, I can give you those easy twenty bucks. I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind the the, the 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 But then, then come up to me saying that we're best friends and buddies and all that. Yeah. Buddies and all that. Like if you cannot, you just want like like for me, for me, for me, for me, for me. That's mm-hmm. has to be a uh, both ways. So. I extended too much on the friendship and all that, but <laughs> I wanted to ask you about like would it be like pieces that you wouldn't ever sell, but if it is to a good friend, would you would you would you consider it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if 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 I need the if if I'm gonna sell a hard piece, it's pretty much because I need the money. That's probably put, put well, not that that's the thing. What if you don't need the money? What if I and then you mentioned this to me? I don't know if it was serious. I'm. Because if you said it's serious, but I just I don't know. Sometimes you're you're you joke a lot. <laughs> but you mentioned it uh, privately, not in not in the boxes, and I'm gonna put it out there now. But uh, you mentioned it about the about the prototype with the with the Mikey, mm-hmm. and then you mentioned if you want it, it's there. I mean, is that standing or is it something because it's on my? It was a friend. joke, guys. Ah, it was a joke. <laughs> I got it. See, no. see, uh, <laughs> you cannot trust on your friends these days, guys. No. No, so no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, is it, is it, it was one of those exceptions or would you, because you don't collect uh, prototypes, would you sell it just about anybody or? No, 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 no. So if, if I would get rid of it, yes, I know you would want it. So you'd be the first, first, first dibs on it. I mean, nobody else, I would, I wouldn't put it out there for one. I wouldn't mm-hmm. put it out there. All right. But you said if you want to get rid of it, but what if you don't want to get rid of it, but now I'm ready to buy it or I'm ready like, Hey, I got the money. I, no, I want to get rid of it. Oh, okay. So is he not Yeah. Even- so. So when I, like I said, it's almost like we talked about, you know, other figures with you too. Is whenever I told you, whenever you're ready, if ever you're ready, and if if, if it's mm-hmm. available and the, all the signs, all the all the stars align, and I have the money or we have the trade, then we could work something out. But yeah, that that I mean that Mikey, yeah, he's it's one of a kind. As yeah, well. and it's, so that's uh, the reason why I was like, mm. and, no, and, no, no, and, no. I, and I'm a big turtle guy, so it, it's it's just a piece. Like I said, I wouldn't if if I would get rid of something like that. It would have to be somebody that I know, and I know it's gonna go good to a good home. I mean, mm. I just wouldn't. Got it's it. It's like what we talked about. It, it, it enters to that realm that I wouldn't sell it just about anybody. Mm-hmm. Hmm? There's pieces like that, you know, like you know, it's just some pieces I just wouldn't get rid. I just wouldn't get rid of. Period. It's yeah. just, and I we we talked about this before. There's some pieces, nah, yeah. but I mean that one. I don't think I don't think he's there, but he's up there, and that's some like a piece that that you know that I would like to hold on to. I don't have no prototypes. But that one, mm. and of course, I would like to add a couple more. But to find them, it's gonna be it's gonna be very yeah, hard. Yeah, so. that's that's another thing with the prototypes. You don't want just to buy about any prototype. Yeah. and there's people that do, and they collect like. Well, I mean, that's, I think I think to me that's another level. I think those are the those those rich guys. I yeah. mean, I don't want to say that, but I'm just joking. But at the same time, they're yeah, expensive. No, pro- they're prototypes are like, they're expensive, man. And, and yeah, I, the biggest prototype collector that I know is you know is uh, Joel Ledesma, and he's been collector for years and years and mm-hmm. years and years. I've heard people that having a long time in this hobby, and they talk about Joel like they knew him. Like like what? Like yeah. Joel goes. Before anybody, I mean that's why he probably got all those prototypes, you but know. That those first, types, and then, yeah. but then he had like doubles of a, like two, three attorneys or whatever. He had like a lot mm. of stuff back in the days when they were yeah. like quote unquote cheap, and then he's been selling that, and then he's been you know yeah flipping flipping to buy those buy prototypes. Those prototypes. 
So not necessarily rich, but I mean he's rich because he, he's toy rich. He's toy rich. Ah, yeah. that's a that's a word. Yeah, I, he's I, toy rich. I'm a to, uh, yeah, I'm toy rich. Yeah, yeah I mean that's what I'm you can say. But we're, toy, bro- but we're broke, I'm, but toy rich. Yeah, I'm broke, but toy rich. So so <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a next topic. <laughs> so broke, yeah, but toy I mean rich. this. I mean it, it, it goes a long way, like I said. And then you got guys that I've seen that say, "Oh, I got this, I got that." Like, well, let me see. Oh man, I don't know. I'll, I'll show you. And I never get no <laughs> feedback anymore. Like, okay, so. Either you have it or you don't. You know, I don't want to show. I don't like showing my because then people. Yeah, are if you're like, already telling that you have it, then you're in a private collector. Why don't you want to show it? Just because it's in bad condition, who cares? Like you have it. If it's rare, it's rare. I mean, whether it's in bad and good or bad. They condition. have the reasons why, I guess. But, but you're, if you're already saying that that you have it, that you're defeating the purpose of being a private collector. Like mm-hmm. you already said it. Not only that you collect, but you already said that you have it. Why not show it? I, I guess I guess some people are afraid that they're gonna talk bad about it. They, you know, we talked about that you don't want to hear that your baby's ugly. <sighs> we heard that that phrase, so that's probably what it is. How many, it, how, but I mean, how I, often do you, I feel like the, the 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 world of collectibles? If you treat nice the other guy, usually you will you will get what you give, pretty much. So this is a, a, a I mean, nice. But I'm so nice. I don't know what why everybody's so well, mean to me. You think you're nice, but. <laughs> you're, 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 <laughs> yeah, but uh, but I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a such a nice community in general. Yeah, it's it the, can be, but then it got some savages, man. They are, yeah. Some, <laughs> but, uh, luckily, they're not the the majority. So I think I don't think why. I mean, uh, it's funny because if 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 he says or if somebody says, "Oh, I, I'm a collector, but I don't show you because I'm afraid of. Oh, I have this piece and this piece and this piece, but I don't want to." Sh- Show it because I'm afraid of what you're saying. I'm like, you already said that you're a collector. You already said that you have the piece. You can even disclaim, oh, it's not in the best condition, and then show it, and that's it. Like, why people will well, talk well, bad well, about well, it? Well, well, because you got to understand that they, that's the perspective you're seeing it as. But what if the person doesn't handle, he don't know how to handle criticism or construction criticism? That's probably, what, that's what, probably what, what, what if they don't, they can't how accept. How many times, how many it, times you've heard, like, I show you this, and then people are like, I'm not saying that I'll have all good answers or, mm-hmm. or reactions, but most of the time they're good reaction. Like if you, if you, if you, if you are like, yeah, but, but okay. So but what I'm saying is, look, you can have 10 good reactions, but to that one, that one is going to defeat all those. Yeah, well, that's for, how that, for some people do. That's, that's what I'm saying. Not some to people, me, but, but yeah. not to you, but some other people. And that's what I'm saying. We got to, we got to, Look at it all sorts of you know aspects, possibilities and options. Yeah, and why aspects of, of like, why yeah. the person wouldn't want to show it or what, or what it because it, like you said, it could be dingy, dirty, it could be broken, it could be this, it could be that. okay, whatever you know. And they're afraid that somebody's gonna make fun of them or may say something wrong, and they don't know how to accept it. That's the thing. We, it could we, be. we. I, I think it's more th- about. Look, here's the thing. Look, the, the the thing that we have in common, and we talked about. You got thick skin, and so do I. Mm. So we're able to handle stuff like that. Some guys are not. True. Some collectors are not able to have that thick skin. That you know, when they hear something, it offends them, and they think it's in the world now. Their collection sucks, or they may feel like ah, I don't care, and they start thinking nah, themselves. Like, I'm gonna quit. Yeah, yeah. So you just never know. I mean, it's that's like, yeah. I, I can I can I can see that. I just have to like. I will go more towards the f- the the fear of getting robbed factor instead of just I feel I feel like that's a, a more reasonable why being a, a private collector. Guys, I'm a I'm a post a Yuli's address. Let y'all know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and let's see. Come <laughs> get it. We're in Texas, <laughs> motherfucker. We're in Texas. Uh, come get it. Come come get it's, my collection. He's gonna shoot you up with water guns, guys. Yeah. And, they're, and they're collectible water guns on top of it. Yeah. All. But Carlos, <laughs> I, I have the brakes are gone and then, <laughs> there you go. What you got to say? Uh, one question. Yes, sir. You're someone that you care about the good conditions of figures. Mm-hmm. If someone shows you a figure that, that is not in good condition, you bring it up? You you mention, oh, it's, it's like a 65. No, what, no, what? Usually we're respectful. Yeah, I mean, so one, th- one thing, really? I, w- I would never, I would never talk, and I've I'll said this before, I would never talk at any, talk down on anybody's collection, never. You would never hear me say, oh, man, but that has a hole in it. Or that it, sucks. It, it'll, it'll bring it up if you want to buy it. Like, mm. hey, come on! You didn't disclaim this. You didn't disclaim but that. But I would, yeah, I would never, never, ever talk down on somebody's collection because honestly, I don't have the best collection either. I'm, I'm me person. That's how I feel because I know there's people out there that have a massive. So there's always gonna be a bigger yeah, and, and I would. That's what I say. You just never do that. That's why we say there's never no, no wrong way to collect. So if that person's look, I've seen guys 
hold up a, a, a sumo, a sumo um, TNMT. Toro. With no hair, scratches all over the belly. I mean, and hey, congrats, dude. And they're happy about it. They're yeah. happy. Congrats. Why are you going to say, oh, man, it's all scratched up. Why are you? That's, <laughs> that's a piece. No, you don't. And you there's don't. people like that sometimes. Yeah, there's people that are like that. They're, 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 oh, well, well mine's complete and yours is but not. When, and when you see those people, those comments, you go to, see, to, to their Instagram or to their Facebook, it's private. They don't post anything about their collection. Like, they talk so much crap, but they don't show their collection. It's because yeah, they're either I mean, socks or they don't have nothing. And, and that doesn't mean, like I said, I would. I just, it's just a troll. I just, yeah, I just would never, never do something like that. And it's not to say, oh, you know, I'm just trying to be a nicey, nicey guy. No, I'm just in general. I mean, I just, if I want to talk shit, I'll talk shit, but I just don't. I mean, there's no reason why to, because if the person's collecting, why would I want to, you know, demeanor their, their their collection and be like, oh, you're not a collector. You got a crappy collection anyways or anything. No, just, hmm. just wouldn't do something like that. I mean, yeah, I may, I may joke around and. But I I don't think I ever said anything like oh you got a crappy, you got you know your all your GI Joe got elbow cracks I don't like that they're, they're throw them away they ain't no good <laughs> I just I won't you know I mean okay and I have also one more question that I think it's only for this episode one of the good things that one of the good ideas that came out out of NFT is like the idea of having a token that would get you into a club or into a, a group of people. Do you think that maybe at some point in this, like, elite uh, collectors, there might exist something, an NFT or a token, like a coin in, in John Wick that you show is like, uh, we're this kind of, and, we, and we sell to each other, something like that. Do you do you see that's happening? We already, or? we already have it, but we just don't talk about it. <laughs> uh, I, this is my on, last episode. Yeah, this is your <laughs> last episode. So yeah. <laughs> uh, there is one group. But it's a very selective group. It's a private group. I think I talked about it. I don't, I don't think you were here. You can't talk about it. Oh. It's, a, it's like a fight club. You can, you're can. you not supposed to talk about you're a fight club. You're not supposed to talk. You're, you're not even supposed to exist, which it pops up on Facebook sometimes. Sometimes, but, sometimes. Okay, but, but, yeah. but, but, but It's selective, but there's a lot of people in that group. A lot. There's a lot of people in that group. No, Well, compared to compared to the community of, of that group, if you look at the, of the other group that kind of like takes in it about anybody, mm -hmm. it's like... Uh, I don't know, like 30,000, 40,000 members. But in that group, it's like 900 something. Like, it's not a lot of... I thought it was more than that. No. Nah. So oh. in that group, you have to be invited mm. by one of the members. And the member that invites you has to be at least six months mm -hmm. active in the group. You cannot be invited. You cannot just join it. You cannot just... So there is, there is, there is and some, to, some and, and, also, and I'm pretty sure that, that well, there are a couple that we don't know of. Like, but there's the also, that, but, but you also have to carry yourself on that group. Yeah. You cannot just you, be, you cannot be, you cannot be a troll. You cannot be doing stuff like that. And you have to be legit about selling or, or, or buying okay. or anything like that. It, it, it's, it's supposed to be a safe community. It's safe. Be, mm -hmm. Do you think that in the dark web, they sell toys? They, they, they sell collectibles? Oh, or they, they don't even know how to get to the. Light the, the, wealth, like yeah, how I do mean, you get to the dark web. <laughs> uh, um, well, well, are you talking about like scamming, or what? Are you, what are you? What are you talking about? No, like super extremely high end uh, action figures that they sell only in the dark uh, web. No, but that 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 wouldn't that, would, that wouldn't make it much. No, uh, there's there's some there's I'm pretty it's not like guns or anything like that. Yeah, no, it's nothing not illegal. illegal. Yeah. Nothing illegal. Yeah. I don't think it will fall into. Well, the that dark wall world. maybe it's illegal. The one you have behind that, you. Exactly. That might be the muscle months. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> um all right guys so well no yeah i mean let us know what you guys think about uh, private, private collector or, or open or collector open, is, yeah. it, is it a huge difference or is it just the same but just or tell us uh, what perks cause uh, pros and cons of what it is yeah i cannot find private. too much on private right I mean, on private i mean i i, I can and i, I can keep talking about rich. an open collector and then right. the because i'm i'm one so i can get, talk for, from experience but private collector i mean don't get me wrong. I, I, I we always carry with the same flag. You know, there's no right or wrong way to collect. So if you want to be pri private collector, you know, enjoy yourself. Do it. Do it. Do what you like. And all. As long that. as you're happy. It's just I don't understand it. Like it's something that I just mm -hmm. I wouldn't understand. So so yeah, there you have it. There you are. Um, if if we never talk about this again, we enter into the toy Illuminati uh. group. <laughs> yeah. 
We are already let's there. Talk, we are already there. Now let's talk about Drake Carlos and Kendrick. Is the, Carlos is a president. <laughs> I want to talk about Drake and, and Kendrick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Uh, thank you if you if you just made it to all to this uh, to this, this podcast and hearing Yuli so, talk so much. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> look, listen, like now Carlos is talking a lot more this day. I'm like, okay, okay. Carlos. I, I let my hair down. Yeah, you do. Uh, but it's good. It's good. Um, That's so a lot of, but I, th- I think I think honestly, what what it was is I think I think you were the problem. I think he's, he has made me more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, the takeaway of this podcast is Carlos likes it both ways, and so, so, he, so, so he feels more comfortable. Yuli's with right there with me. He's feels, a reseller. Feels, guys, feels Yuli more is a reseller. With. Yuli is a reseller. <laughs> Those are the two big points. Yuli, Yuli is a reseller. And Carlos likes it both ways. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for being here. Uh, if you made it to, uh, all this way, uh, please like the video, subscribe, subscribe, guys, subscribe, share, subscribe, all that, all that thing. All right. Thank you. Say yes. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Mr. Yuli. All right, Isaias. brother. Yes. Take care, brother. See you guys. <laughs>